How you doing everyone? Today we're going to be going over three tests to indicate piriformis syndrome. So we're suspicious of piriformis syndrome if we have a patient that has a radiculopathy, a uh, radiating pain from the lower back down to the foot, past the knee, and most of our tests for the lumbar spine, the disc tests like Kemp's and Bechterus and straight leg rays are not presenting as positive. So we're going to be very suspicious of a piriformis syndrome. So the first test we're going to do is going to be a simple little test we're going to call the FAIR test. The F, the A, the I, and the R. So what that stands for is we're going to be flexing the hip, we're going to be A, deducting the hip, and internally rotating the hip. What we're trying to do right here is put a stretch on the piriformis to see if we can aggravate the sciatic nerve. Now our next test, if you can sit up and face the camera, can go. we're going to see if we can activate that piriformis to see if we can successfully irritate the sciatic nerve by contracting the piriformis. Now the piriformis is an external rotator, so we're going to have our patient move the legs outward against resistance. So let's bring them back again and now push the knees out into my hands. What we're looking for here, again, is a reproducing of that radiating pain down the leg. So that's test number two. This is called the PACE test, P-A-C-E. Our last test, if you can lay face up for me. Now our last test, what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to put internal rotation into the femur, which in turn will stretch out that piriformis tissue, which in turn will aggravate the sciatic nerve. So we're going to be taking that leg and we're going to be forcibly internally rotating that femur, again, trying to stretch out the piriformis. And again, we're looking for a reproduction of pain shooting down the leg for a piriformis syndrome.